and then we'll go on the recording. Yes. Hello, Cobras. Welcome to a scrimmity scrimmity. Might want to fix that a tiny bit. I'd rather roll be down there than up at the corner right there. So, eh. Is that working better? Yeah, it's working better. Look at this shirt. Gotta flex the swag and the charity donations. Runaway guys call see him. Alright. So, yeah. It's Monstrum. You know Monstrum. Unless you don't. Just gonna show all the settings I have, kind of my usual stuff. It's kind of the main thing being the colors, of course. What I'm going for to start off with. You can, of course, use RGB to make a little suggestion. Utility. All the junk right there. Then, monster settings. Yeah, there's like the whole flight speed situation. I changed up a little bit. 0.4 for the brute and applied to the other monsters. 0.32 for uh, regular movement but not animation speed. It's kind of stuff I'm used to going for. And various other things, but <laughs> hardly ever change them up. Unless I go with a super crazy run. Not that this isn't a super crazy run as it is with a five monster situation. And instead of playing piano while I get loaded up into everything, we're gonna eat some Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I'm not gonna scarf them all down immediately. I'm gonna savor them. Let's make sure. Something was fine over there. Oh man, the world. So wild though. Ah. Oming and oming. Yeah. About a quarter of the way through now. I hope my voice isn't going to be muffled the whole time. You love this game, Smudgy Marrow? I love this game too. <laughs> I'm approaching a thousand hours in it. I mean, yeah, a lot of it's been AFK. I'll probably pass 950 by the end of this stream, depending on how long it is. I predict probably around an hour and a half to two hours, unless I get really vibey into it. Alright. Let's just set the biscuits over there. And here's where we're starting. I want to situate a little bit better, though. Just more comfortably play and not mess up my wrists or anything. Shiny, like a melody, but not really. Got the fuse and the notes that I never need. Wonder how many times over I've gotten them completed. So it's actually deck six we are on, right? So, and not that it seems like we're gonna be able to do much because, yeah, <laughs> you're trying to glitch. Gets me a little stuck in the world right here. All right. I guess that's how the cookie grumbles to get started with. Give a little glitchy look to the world. Maybe next round we'll start within the lower decks. Like deck three or four. Because of those being options for modding. I don't think it's like really consequential, but I like to just make sure my field of view is properly reset. It's like it tries to zoom back in a little bit in between games, but yeah. We 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 it's time to play the game. Man, now the Metro Prime 2 theme is gonna be stuck in my head. Maybe at not eat three, or just the summer Nintendo Direct. Prime Trilogy will be announced, or either Prime 1 Remaster, or they'll just give us the info on Prime 4. Metroid. Yeah. Gotta clean yourself on the napkin. Look at the round ring. It's not like I have a mouse cursor enabled, but like at the left side of the actual game looking screenshot beyond the brown bars. There's like a ring on the Left side. <laughs> I don't know. Fun little details with all the graininess and reporting. Oh, I don't know. But we're starting on a higher deck again. Maybe just deck five this time. <clears throat> and also with a glow stick. Just gonna give it a blah. Deck five indeed. But who knows if we'll actually make it out of here alive. Between the world. There we go. Uh... Yeah, okay, it's just deck four we're hitting. I thought we were possibly dropping down all the way to deck three engine. I allow myself to give just this one floor a check. Not that there's ever really too much here in deck four, except there is this time. Kind of a weird little way to wrap around to it, though. But hey, it's just a glow stick to mark that I'm done with this floor. So I'll just mark it. Deck four engine done. Uh, get rid of a spawn there, but I can move it over there. 
and unwrite that. Didn't even do a run today. I, just, I guess I forgot to clear a certain line. But there we go. Also, a fun little thing that happened recently, even though I posted it on my Discord, not that everybody's on my Discord. Uh, Sheet Music Boss finally did my request of Luigi's Mansion 3 Grand Lobby Basement. Kind of took it easy on the requesting because that could be seen as a little bit obnoxious, especially with the uh, day tracking I had been doing for a 159 day streak. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to nix that. Then occasionally just request it. And then just kind of take it more easy. And then it's been done. Like I, I knew, I saw there was sheet music for it on their website. So I'm like, hmm, they'll probably do a tutorial soon. And then they did. Uh, a couple days ago. So stick five spawn, fuse battery. Do allow me to write that down. Fuse battery. Yeah. I hear a little bit of crackling noise, but I guess that's just the effect of my headphones or just, you know, a little bit of feedback interference. Ground loop even, as it were. Man, it's like weird tunnel vision. I see like the game in all corners. Like I see it up there, I see it on my main screen, then a little bit behind on the playback of the stream. As I do an audio check. Cool. Alright. Just gonna give another little once over for the stream because you can never be sure. Alright, pretty good on this side of deck five. I'm just gonna give a little rounding error. Not that there's too much rounding to do to get the rest of it checked. There's our spawn room. Not much in between. Gonna make sure we're fine. It's just the stairs. And it's just regular flashing, not fiend related flashing. So I'm sure that will be happening soon. Uh -huh. Dip away. Oh, we got another. <laughs> kind of seen something like that yesterday though. Fuse battery. Fuse pump. I almost said spool, but it's not what it is. Kind of a simple deck five we got. Like no bathroom, no kitchen. At least one of those things is in play, even a rec room. But I guess it's just a weird situation that uh, there's two power locks rooms. So I guess, ooh, got a fiend around. So I don't really want to hang right there right now. So how about I just switch gears a little bit. Okay, I'll take care of deck five mini along the way. Maybe try to clear as much as I can instead of taking too much time. Just try to play a little too safe. Of course, I'm not very safe right now if I don't have a fire extinguisher. I'm playing riskily with the cameras because I never use tape or anything. I just like to do the little tricks you do out of their line of sight. This room is simply done. A lot of breakables we're getting to start off with. And hey, a compass. Where's the nearest monster? Over there. Wow. Probably a brute or a fiend's coming close. Break the line. I don't even feel like running right now, but I am. Alright. Oh, oh, just hearing steam down below. Man, <laughs> kind of weird setups we're getting for the deck 5 adjacent stuff. So, deck 5 mini is done, if I can get to the right line for it. Mark it as such. So, I guess I'll go ahead and work on, uh, stuff. I thought I was seeing a brute light, but like, wait, that's not the color I set for it. Yeah, yeah, crank it ink. Break the cups and all that. Then it's time for a fun time flashlight. Oop. Here it goes. Not quite the most resounding of colors. Kind of a pink setup, but of course, switches around to green with all the randomization I got going on. It's like a default setup for the pink. I think it kind of goes based on that, but then it goes uh, a little bit of random for everything else. I mean, yeah, probably the darker lights and brighter lights. To have some more fun with. Yeah. Would have been a little risky if a hunter was popping up from the side there, but nah. A huntress. Suicide squad-ish. <laughs> so many power wash rooms, man. So we got a fuse flare. It's kind of hard to tell. Is that a... I don't know. Egg timer, but it's a fuse as the main thing. It's the deck four crew. Fuse flare. Done. Not done yet, but I'm sure we'll eventually be doing done marking. Let's check our way to deck zero, right there. And then, we shall grab you. Check, check, grab it. If I can get a grip on it, man. Get a grip. 
a far. Yeah. I actually watched the Aladdin, Aladdin movies, I mean, the animated ones. Number two and three aren't exactly cinematic mastery, but meh. good enough to clear the story. I mean, yeah, there's a TV series, too. And yeah, yeah, you're noisy. I should probably do this in my headphones. Just for the sake of hearing myself and all that. And that's the real brute, because it's a real blue bloke of a brute. Unhand me, you brute. Mm. So, uh, will I chow on Cheddar Bay Biscuits? Would y'all believe me if I said I started working out a little bit? What proof? Something came in the mail today. These weights. <laughs> my headphones wrapped around it. Your phone's from my phone. Well, I don't really use it on my phone anymore. Just set them down carefully. Don't set up the dropper alarm. So yeah, just a little bit of a weight for arm curling, even though I was using a burger press up until today. I mean, it's a decent weight, two pounds and change. But yeah, just kind of giving this room another good check. Might not be another room for the rest of this particular Deck 4 crew. Or almost in general, because Deck 4 engine is done, as has been marked and shown. Show shown. Man, it's a long path down. Make sure nobody's being trouble. Yeah, we got trouble. Right here on the Hisamaru. Whew. Playing a little risky there. That's trouble with a capital T and that rhymes with P and it stands for purple. Oh, we gotta get the heck out of here. I'm just trying to be careful of my way of handling everything. So, any corner rounders? I'm sure. Oh, the fiend's there too. It's kind of hard to tell, but I see his shape and structure. So that makes the deck four crew done. Because there weren't any rooms, unless I completely blanked out upon it. But I don't think I did. Even if I am. Unknown blink outer. Yeah. You got action. Right here on the Hisamaru. That's action with an A, and that rhymes with K, and that stands for klutz is what it might be if I die. At least it wasn't really uh, taking a lot of time to turn around. So I'm pretty sure deck 2 is done there. Didn't really give the best check, but yeah. Here, I'll try to be more vigilant checking here. Deck 1 crew. There often isn't really much because a lot of the uh, slack is picked up for deck 0. Yeah, yeah. Looks like nothing. So I can for sure mark that as such. Done. Here's what I like to do when there's no rooms. I type no rooms. No, not or tombs. Get rid of that T. I can like do a little copy paste for however it can apply to other positions. And let's see if a thing happens here. If I try to turn it on too fast, but no, it cranks just fine. <laughs> Is there an ant crawling on my back? The ants have kind of been making a resurgence. Not that you would really know if they would have been gone. It's kind of been a thing throughout April, and even a little bit of March. Huh. Man, why do I almost feel sunburnt? I mean, yeah, I've been walking outside, but with decent clothing, where I feel stuff. I guess it just must be from my arm workouts. <laughs> I thought that was a brute light, but no, it's not blue, because the blue is brute. A blue boy. Blue Bunny. I think what I should do is get out of here. Probably do some uh, rearranging and corralling of monsters. And we wait. And we go. And we open the door. And we check. Everything, everywhere, every time. I don't always really do the best in the cargo hold, especially with all the extra confusion, but hey, at least I'm uh, happening to be going through such a way to get that. Trying to be careful of any hunter egg size that could be around. <laughs> kind of confusing myself. Yeah, it might be like lining up to 
more uh, stuff adjacent stuff. What am I saying? Deck zero. Like the deck two engine as it is. Hey, look. <laughs> I always try to check behind these barrels because there sometimes are items, even if it's radio. I mean, radios are helpful, especially if we gotta have uh, broken rooms to deal with. My brother blanked me on Snapchat, so let's see what he's blanking about. A TV. Yeah, as he did get a TV recently. A new one. Wait, no, I don't want my Wi-Fi on on my phone. I gotta use as much bandwidth from the Wi-Fi as possible into the stream until we get our fiber. This year will be the last stream before fiber. I mean, I was kind of deliberately waiting for fiber to happen, but it's been happening a little bit. Like, a nice lady, as I tweeted about, has put the NID junction box into place, and pretty much the final steps that, that is needed is to do the actual inside home installation of router and jump- Oh, I thought I saw a fiend coming around, but it was just like the way the- Container was meant, man. I'm glad I'm taking paths to where there are good items. It saves the trouble of getting it done elsewise and elsewhere. Yeah. Could very well have trouble in the future. Know very well about it. The flashing lights, loud sounds, and Team Instinct. Let me just go here to see what's going on. Okay. That's a weird way of approaching it. Should I recline a sight before he starts to see me? Or even she as the hunter? But it could also be very amorphous about everything. I don't even have a fuse with me, but give a nice little check. Well, at least we have a major item, like one of them most difficult items to find within each thing, and we know where a pump is, provided I want to use a thing eventually. I, I of course want to get another fuse for here, because it's always brought to my completion, and the complexion of completion. Uh -huh. So here's something I can do. I can explore the engine room, room a little bit. Make sure uh, Hunter doesn't pop out again from anywhere, because I might have despawned by now. It didn't really get in the chase mode or anything. That's not important, just roll it out of the way. Didn't crack it up doing that. So that's junction 5 there. Yeah, I can mark all my junctions because aside from 1 and 2, they're all changed up. So this is 4 and 5 for this area. This particular level of the engine room. 4, 5, and then 6 and 3 will be among the next ones before number 2, of course. Got tape there. But I don't really want to mark it down yet. I mean, I do want to mark it down, just don't want to grab it yet. So it's deck four, or jump four rather, J4 tape. For the memory banks, man. Bowser's memory banks. I can grab that with me. It's gonna be fun. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Gonna have to find a creative way of handling that. Especially because I'm kind of naked without a extinguisher right now. But what I'm wondering is, is there... Hello, there's a pump way out in the open. I'm gonna grab that, then I'm probably just gonna circle back around. Get more noisy. So we know that it's a double brute. The fiend's around here somewhere. Don't know where though. I have to play a little bit of Ring Around the Rosy if I want to get around here. Lights aren't too flashy here. And... Woo! Oh! I was just barely making it past. I thought I had something going on. I was surprised I didn't find a pirate scene with my whole time around there. Okay, it's 4 deck 5, 4 and 3 on the engine side, then the entirety of the lower decks, pretty much. But not much was to be seen. So they must have been higher up things, or maybe there was some in my periphery that I didn't see. So it wouldn't have really been in my periphery. Hmm. Look at me, just talking mouth loaded. Trent? Trent. After the fluff goes down.
Oh yeah. Corona time and piano time. Wait. I have to like fix up how I do the hallelujah instead of the... That's what I gotta do. Kinda more like that. For shred style. It doesn't really matter if you kinda conform to the key. Speaking of conforming, I gotta clear out a lot of stuff. That was just a warm up round, aside from the time of dying in the nether world in between everything. The glitchiness. Clean up. Cleaning everything up. Clear out the deck five mini. I'm gonna have to change all the engine room stuff back to X's, aside from the one and two, obviously. There. Hmm. We're good on all that. You no, know, I just gotta get rid of the J4 tape I had written briefly. And back we go. Flashlight. Mm -mm -mm. Glow stick. What if everything's gonna drop on my head? What? Car battery. No. Gonna turn everything on its head and surprise me with a sudden extra item in the spawn room. Like, just a couple days ago, I was like, I'm going to open these drawers in a power locked room. And there was an egg timer in one of them. I mean, yeah, I guess it's not really a zero chance that there's an extra item, but kind of in the mood to look a lot more now. All right. Let's take three or four. It's four. Ah. I had preemptively written it for three, but I'm just going to have to do a little transfer after we get done, you know. The monsters are probably going to get on their way before I get done with this room. Very meticulously checking for cups and maybe even an egg timer or another glow stick. Yeah. So we just clear this floor. Come on, bolt gun ammo, medicine for a med kit. I've been like seeing things for like an unofficial companion book for uh, alien isolation. Just trying to time out the end. Steam, try not to get stuck on anything either. And, and, and away we go. So deck four is our spawn. And we're done with it. Where? Right there. Okay. <laughs> it's like, do I have to scroll more? I did indeed have to scroll more. We do a little scrolling. Deck three. Ooh. Broken room. Maybe we'll aggro something or somebody into there. They're probably going to be spawning from here, though. Eh? No? Okay. Okay. Bean's probably spawning from that room I was about to look into, even. So I'm just going to write broken room spool. The glow stick is ancillary, so I'll probably just pick it up. If I don't, I don't. For now, we're just going to clear out deck one, then come back for the others. You can already tell with all the stomping, even more so on Switch, but... Eh. More so, Oleander. Surprised I haven't started the stream of that game yet. I was thinking about doing it in April, but... I mean, <laughs> we're at the end of April now. I've just kind of been in a slump, man. Slumping it up. But hey, I feel nice. I'm streaming. Got a very mild exercise routine started as of like Monday or a little bit on Sunday. Just as my brother showed up, I was like, dang, my brother is fit. <laughs> I wish I was kind of fit, not quite to the level of my brother, but just a base level of fit. And I'm not talking fit like uh, drip, you know. I'm surprised the monster hasn't seen me. Just kind of doing a double check around here. So I don't lose myself in the monstrum the moment. Alright. Done, all caps, no rooms. And I could do a little copying for an eventual pasting, probably. Uh, of course, the fiend saw me through the sub room. Who's blonkin'? Man, I gotta like mute so many different things. 
political stuff. Okay. I'll hide your alerts. I have a lot of things muted. These were like advertising or political donation seeking stuff. Back to the chase. Cut to the chase, even. Hello. Finally finding a distinguisher. Got a room here. Somebody must have spawned from here. Probably brute. Or fiend, because it was kind of flashy around here, too. Or maybe it's coming back to a spawn room. Gotta eat your snack and find stuff out. Ah. <laughs> I got one taken care of. Mm, kind of sliding down my throat without following. Try to collect tamer out of contact. Ha 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 ha. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The bot on my Discord never uh, said I was streaming, but. Uh, not too much of a problem. Right, I'm gonna play a little riskfully and just open up these drawers. These draws. Needs to be calming down a tiny bit. I'm not sure if there's any magnitude to it at the time. Propensity. Picking back up a little bit more now. I think now I can put deck two crew down, but I'll just have to check another corner. Had the had a space man. There's a star man waiting in the sky. I can do an exercise from a chair too. Sit at the edge of your chair. Lift up. Feet out. Lift up. Feet out. Exhale while you do it. Uh, <laughs> it could be done. I could just do some weight crunching, but I'd be kind of overdoing it. And people make fun of me for my form on stream. I get self conscious. Nah. I just feel like we do not care. As long as I feel a burn, it's good enough for me. The fiend. Just got a double fiend situation. Obviously, because it's flashing over here while there's a fiend way out yonder. Alright, just gonna wait for things to blow over a little bit. Especially with the stomping individual coming around. Not necessarily a brute. As far as I haven't even really seen a sparky either. I'm on the mix of all, all the junk. Like, I've been seeing double brutes, but it seems like we got double fiend right now. Double fine. Production. Second ops. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a big bite. Hung. Lord Bowser. Little bites. Here's some more milk. It's uh, from an evil cow. What? I lost my position. <laughs> These are like the weirdest types of streams for me where I'm just eating and saying random junk. Oh, that might have worked out for me not going into its line of sight. Of course, you could have just sprayed it. We're gonna play riskily. I think the risk paid off. Let's go up to deck three. That room hasn't been broken. And there's somebody coming. It's getting close now. Alright, now that I should check this room. If somebody spawned from here. It's kind of a tight spawning room. This type of room is like the equivalent to those smaller corner rooms you see. On the other side, like, you know, like right here, you go hide under a desk instead of cupboards like that. Then there's a couple boxes, and then there's the shelves. Sure, you know what I'm talking about. I've been playing like a kind of a weird, risky stuff so far in the stream, but hey, sometimes you just gotta show off and eat. Hmm. When the lobster is red? Hey look, a sparky. 
Hmm. Not gonna stick around long. I don't know. He might be, based on that. Yeah, he's getting unstuck. More like unsuck. Yeah. Just gonna open the room in case somebody wants to break it down from the closed position. Already 30 minutes on recording, and not much has been done. Hmm. I wonder if the uh, broken room over there has been broken just on account of me throwing a cup into it. It's happened. Like, even just, like, setting off a camera can aggro up the monsters a little bit to break into broken rooms. Not without any necessary, uh, stuff. You know? Throw a radio into there to lure it to the right spot. I don't know. There's a little bit more stuff that you can be more experimental with in this here game. One direction or another, we got the hunter. I'm gonna play this gamble and lose it. Rounding corners should be fine. It's gonna come into this room just be like, whoosh. I'm searching. Whoosh. And all that. Mm -hmm. Right on you. <laughs> Normally, it would be trying to pop out right now, but I hear stimpy stompies and see flashy flashies. But not now. Out of here he goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is sparky, but not a problem. But mm. Things could have gone very differently there. Goal it wise. Imagine that on stream. Yeah. I was kind of thinking about popping out. What the? Oh, he's just moving the grate around. Kind of weirdly. As if I were to be walking on it. Some very noisy uh, steam over there. So I should get. Uh, wait for him to kind of get out of line of sight. So it doesn't aggro too much. Alright, it's fine. Somebody must be... They must be clashing down there. Clashing like a clacky. And we pass through. Alright. So that's all we got to finish is that broken room. And we're done. So pretty well covered for all around here. But. And that's a big ass but. I sense danger. I was kind of thinking of going down to zero anyway. But I didn't where the danger was coming from. Alright. Nobody should really be aggro to down here right now. And I got some item space so I can clear out a handful of rooms here at deck zero. Let's get down to stuff here. And do some stuff. It's probably the long way around, so I'll go back here. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, let's make a left turn. Wait. Probably could have made it, but gotta play it safe, man. All right, yeah. So I've got this way as a left turn. I cannot see crap. I think it's cutters though. Fuse cutters flashlight. Be a left turn. D four left turn. Fuse, cutters, flutters, and clash light. Then that side done. Finish, middle, halls, and engine side. I was right, stuff like that anyway. There we go. Somebody is utilizing a chat command. But inshallah, I might not even need to, uh, 
do another run to warrant new colors. So there's my way out. And let's just press on and on and on. Floink. Walkie talkie number two. Complete the circuit. And cause the circus. Kirkus. With a sponsor. Oh. Wait. Proceed. I was worried about how dark that light was looking, but the way the color is. You can tell because of the way it is. Alright, try not to lose my position. I just gotta make a turn when I get out of there. I'll probably just mark it with a glow stick to show that I'm kind of good up to that point anyway. My road to victory. Right. What is in here? A third walkie talkie. So I don't know. A weird odd number. Pretty much have to toss two to even get to blooping them. I drop you. Drop you off at school. Is that tape I see? That is tape I see. To whoever Tay Pisces is. TP IC. Alright, this room's pretty covered. Yes. Now, we proceed further. Further into here. With our great fervor for exploring. Another room. Wait, what? Oh, I'm backtracking. I'm backtracking like a little boy. A little boy that backtracks. Just to double check that I've got this room done. And now go here. Trust the process, man. Anything there? Nope. And then you know anything goes with a compass. I'm sure Monster is probably getting close, though. It could be uh, circling some stairs. Or some junk happening with a Hunter X axe. Man, someone's that close already. How close? Ooh, they're probably exploring the engine room side. I think I hear a fiend rumbling too. Unless it's just the, uh, music. Ambiance. They sound closer than they are. That was a risky play. Let's see if it works out for you. Alright, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any of the middle hall rooms up to now. I just got kind of tripped up at one point, but I think I'm covered. So, there could very well not even be any more rooms. We'll just have to see. Figure out where dudes are coming from. Alright. Alright, oh, got a fiend down here. Not going to make too much noise, though. Even though I could have been picking up the pace to, you know, not be in line of sight and all that. All right. And now we wait. Mm -hmm. Both the boys are around. They're probably doubling up the darkness. Oh yeah. Scoozy. Can havoc, and you gotta follow your friend. Don't divide and conquer, and all that. Very tempted to throw a cup, but nah. I don't think it's gonna happen at this juncture. Don't get stuck. Oh, I was worried that he was just gonna chill her for perpetuity. Uh, it's going that way. That's the way I want to go back to. Go that way and be with your other friends. I don't want to be around here forever with all the flashing fluids. I'm just gonna peek through there. Peek through there. Make sure a hunter doesn't happen. 
All right, Hunter didn't happen. Fiend must be just beyond there. So instead, <laughs> I'll hop into the engine room. What a weird change in scenery. But hey, that's how things can happen. Let's see if we can cop a fuse around here. I don't think so. That's a weird situation. But say, like, where's the hunter? Is he gonna make noise? Is it gonna re? Someone's there. A stimply stompler. Eh, I'm hidden well enough right here. I'm in the spot of hiding, so in the spot I shall hide. See how technical I am? Am I dropping frames? No? Okay. Might just be kind of weird on the laptop. And a brute might not even be too close anyway. But I never knew. I'm gonna do that. I wanna get to work. <laughs> There's a fiend over there. Make sure nothing's happening. Cutters. Uh oh. Just so it doesn't break down the door if the brute comes through. Alright. Now we wait another quick minute. Might go use up the more important items to have. Tape and cutters. Maybe do something about this excessive number of walkie-talkies. Could very well be having trouble stepping through that short traversable area. Good thing the fiend wasn't right there. Look at me in the eye. Let's see what I've been trying to tell you that I won't back down. Alright, I guess I'll just write that down for the engine room. Low, big room flashlight. Not that it's too important to have around. Just in case I want to give it a nabbing. Alright, the fiend is kind of patrolling in the general area. So I might try to find a way to circle back into the uh, deck zero part. <laughs> Someone's hitting something. Or it's just kind of settling with the items I have. It kind of looks like meta time, but yeah, it's obviously just a Game Boy looking thing in general. Just a video game looking device. So I do have options for getting out of here. But not if someone uh, is immediately outside that door. I might like go to the corner, spray the fiend, hopefully don't get telekineticized. If that's even a vertical word they would put on Wordle. Not that I put that big of a word anyway. I really need to like try out all those like various hurdle games. I tried to play the Xenoblade one, but <laughs> it was hard to tell like what song was even playing the first round I tried. Like the first second of it, if you wanted to get an immediate guess, you'd have to like really know because it's like silent for up until like the last tenth of a second. It's like did it used to with all the yeah, as cringe as that was. I'm just trying to get these little crumbs. Garlic filled crumbs. Very crummy and scrummy. Mm. I don't even think anything's too dangerous right now. <laughs> You'd think I'd be looking at a still image. Eh. Kind of a weird way to prop my plate. Hopefully it doesn't launch in any weird way. Alright. Now, do we just kind of get stuck in that particular extra room over there, like leading into it, so, I don't know. Oop, I went out of here. Yep, it's around that corner. But I'm gonna just take this way out of here. Fiend? It's probably just up on the actual engine room part of it. Yeah, and of course when you're around here, it seems like the music glitches and goes crazy. And with our current speed, the Hunter actually goes faster than one would think, so... Just want to make sure I'm moving a bit expeditiously. Deck 4 level. Which I haven't even 
Lord. Oh, yeah. Do all your sprays. No running hunters. Whipped cream pouring like waterfalls. No rooms as of yet, but there's a room. Oh, that's indeed a room. Sit on room. South the ship, the bateau. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nothing. No scrumples. No one's gonna scrumple my dumples or limple my dimples. What? Nothing. Okay, just a cup. But I got gas. I probably do have gas. No, probably about it. But I can mark this as done. Just a cup. If I want to go back for it. Alright, here's the plan. All the way up. I mean, not all the way to bridge level. For now, we're just going to be... I'm going to reuse a joke I used with Lucas. Underneath the bridge. Here on deck seven. And the monsters all down there. Will not become my pets. And I'm living with this tape in the chain spool that's behind me. It's okay to eat glass if you want to go to the hospital. A hunter in the way. Brew. Hunter in the way. Fiend. Ooh. Man, of course the tape had to get used up. Sometimes it doesn't get used up. I was thinking about like going over there and tossing it. Like a masterful individual. <laughs> and with that great musical number, I'm sure people are flocking here in droves. And I guess a fiend wants to show up. A fiend indeed, because there are multi-pole. Try to drop off this chain spool before I get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I know. You exist. You're valid. But... I'd rather distance socially, economically, telekinetically, in all ickly ways with you. Get right out of here. Shoom, shoom, shoom. And let's get opening. Of these little crates. We already know where the roly poly is, but I want to open these anyway. Just to say I've done so. Maybe cause some chaos on the ship if things get a little bumpy and rolling around. Rolling around as it be this yeah, I should probably just drop that there. Could also put it closer to the actual, you know, tart of gassery. Hmm, if you done with the cutters. So I could try to get the broken room situation done on deck three. So I guess I'll try that. Make sure no hunters are popping up beside me. Here, I'm gonna do this. Eh? Cause that'll help my case. <laughs> Let's get some initial aggro going on or something. D'agro initial. Toss, toss. And here we go. Just let it happen. Should be running pretty well. No matter how much of deck 2 I explore. Just give it a proper double check. Nothing there. I guess it de schmoopified. That's why they call it schmoofle. Or something. Let me just open all these. Leave it ramshackled. Ransacked. Alright, now I feel better that we're all for sure covered around here. Aside from, you know, the broken room that we want to get done. Oh, I'm not close enough, but I bet if I go like to the sub console in the higher up spot, it's gonna take the long way around that because too many times the hunter kills me in that very spot. We go here and make noise. Of course, you can never really trust the uh, walkie talkies. I have to think of the name for him, man. I don't know, maybe they'll break the door, maybe they won't. Well, I just chill up here. Or if the growing glitch happens, I can like see through, or even just toss an egg timer up there. 
in a weird way. Did it stop or did, did it just run its course? We turned it on again. Did it get broken? Did it run long enough? Or am I just in such a weird spot? Well, I don't hear much noise. Risky moves. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Man, that was a quick start. Maybe both fiends were there and they were both uh, using their mojo on me. Just make our way to the other edge. Wait for it. And go. We. No one here. Haven't really explored those. the cargo hold junk in this run. But hey, there's some junk. A junky. Not flashlight, but glow stick. Flashlight. Let me you know, see if that works just to alleviate any doubt of what I said. X3, get a radio along the way so I can for sure get that broken room taken care of, even if it means breaking the radio. It's gotta be strategical in how I handle it. Hello? Anything through there? No? Whoa, okay, why am I getting a weird tired rush now? It's only 6.51pm, and I'm well endowed with food today. I wanted to take the risk. I kind of survived it. Hey look, I'm grabbing the cup so I don't need to have the cup part of it there anymore. Done. Something tells me there's like a room at deck 3 engine that could very well have a fuse in it, but I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go up and do deck 5 now. Deck 5 and alive. Like line of sight there. Cool. I think we're at the far side here. And just Sure, we're good. Ooh. Got another dude. Dudical. <laughs> Let me just throw the glass, man. Underneath the glass. Hello. Good thing I did, because I wanted to grab the submarine headlights. So the far side's done. Let me just. Okay. Middle room spool. Say the far side's done. Just in case my goldfish memory kicks in and goes, Ron, ton, ta, don, don, don't be on the floor, use the Commodore. And all that. La, 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 la. I mean, I can go ahead and put this stuff out here so I can grab other things. Oh, I've got some loopy doopy rooms around here. Hey, look at the type of room I was talking about with the boxes and the shelves. Yeah. And one of these. Just have some fun with it. So now I'm just waiting on checkup getting here before we can start making our way back up the ship. Oh yeah, before I forget, he said one of the boss's containers exploded. Making like good headway on the sub here. Can imagine him speaking to the captain just like all, Captain, the whistle is in danger, or something like that. Oh, oh that's him. I gotta go. Crazy. Yeah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Take this stuff to the sub. Let me also corral my friends around here. Alright, enough noise there. Hopefully there's no one in front of me. I can check that. Doesn't seem to be the case. I thought I was hearing a brute roaring, but just the way the ship is settling. Yeah, yeah, Owen Wilson. Can't even bear to say the Owen Wilson stuff anymore. That'd be a joke. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Wait, do I even want to get the spool though? All right, before anybody sees me. I know I'm pressing right click. It could be dangerous. <gasps> bad, bad, bad. Very bad. Awful. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna hide in this room. Yeah, Just to release the right click, man. Get some relief in this world. But is it going for that room? No! Freaking hide, freaking hide, freaking hide. Thank you. 
Could have been very disastrous. <sighs> so I have a feeling everybody's gonna be showing up around here now. I see more stairs. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Ooh. Let's get behind the steam. I was kind of making a misjudgment too. I was thinking I was like on deck one when I was going down. But I could have still gone down to get to here. So, I do like to track my sprays. So let me just mark that down. See, if I was playing Monster 2 here, it's a guaranteed three sprays and I keep track of it. But nobody really plays the game. It's not really a slight against it, it's just that you know, it's hard to play the game when nobody plays the game consistently. Alright, let me try this. Well, I mean, I'm able to get stuff going. Alright, let's just give it a moment without running and pick it back up as I scratch my foot. See if I can rearrange everybody's aggro over there. Not that it's the most reliable thing. I don't know, maybe I'll hear them breaking into a room. Very risky. The brute could have very well been joining me. No flashing. I'll just second guess myself. And we go. Start being a bit more meticulous in the room takedown. Grab you. Alright. Uh, I thought he wasn't there because he hadn't popped out yet. Wah. <laughs> Two, three. And we go this way. Create some distance. Thank you for doing your sprays at a good timely time. Yeah, good timely time. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of this. Let's hope we can get three engine done. Hello. Hello, what up you you are? Right. Alright, so I can mark that as such. Duck what three engine done no rooms. Ka boom. And there's always a couple weird Deck one and two engine ones that are deck zero connected. I mean, yeah, with the whole way it connects to the engine room. So I'm glad I have it set up that way. Probably even another layer of interestingness I can do. Man, so many extinguishers now. They were all like kind of right by each other too. Because I grabbed one of deck five. Kind of hoping for a extra backpack around here. Those two valuable inventory slots, man. Slotsky. Yeah. Look, more tape. Tapo. Tapo flamo. Backpack in the mess hall. Just gas in the mess hall and keys, man. A lot of stuff around here. Here I'll see. Run deck seven. Mess hall. Gas. Keys. Cups. Radio, man, a lot of stuff. Definitely gonna have to circle back this way. Go ahead and hit that. Just for the good feel. Yeah. Because I already got a spool there. I might have been confusing it with it like another time. Like maybe in a previous run when I got a spool in the cargo hold. Kinda double check in there. There's also the tape that's where it got to write down. Like, uh, let's see, like office room tape. There we go. Just gonna do a double check around here. It's been covered. Very swimbly swambly around here. Now I'm gonna make some noise by moving the crane around. Rough deck. Done. Until I at least get a pump. No. Bring it over and I can slot it down. It's like helium and stuff right there. If we're trying to inflate something, we'll give some to the pump. 
imagine if we had to like interact with all that stuff kind of like in Monster 2 you get a lot of stuff prepared I mean that's the whole multiplayer aspect of it all okay so I've already made that level of noise and, and there's the hunter all right let's go get stuff taken care of yeah about say there's that just to be sure I'm gonna drop this radio here I shall just drop the compass it's less of an important item But I can come back for it, you know? Just wanna uh, put away all these extinguishers into reserve. Reserve, man. Reserved for cool dudes. Burn. No, you go back there. Get back in your spot. Put you in your place. Yeah. Feel like I got a sneeze in my future. A lovely sneeze. I sneezed the sneeze of dreams gone by. I don't know. So, did they break the room down yonder? On the monster hoochie? No. Okay, let me just check something. So, deck five, middle room spool. Because I didn't grab it then. So, I don't even really need to go in there. Just if I want to. Get a glow stick in to reclaim my uh, walkie talkies there. So, what I could do is give Becca run through deck zero. Because I'm sure not, not real many dudes are going to be around here right now. In fact, let me just let this run a minute. See if I can aggro them over. Aggro? Aggron? The aggressive. Ron Weasley. Agron. Yeah. Having too much fun. So, let me just bring it back over to where it's showing deck zero. The left turn, fuse cutters, flashlight, which I don't even really need to go that way now that I've used the cutters. Mm hmm. Because the restraint cables have been cut. So I just, uh, kind of give a little run through of all these spots again. That room, good. I'm just trying to. Speed run it a little bit before the anything becomes a problem. Thrown off by that again, thinking it was fiend flashing. Uh huh. Yeah, it's just right here. There was nothing. Yeah, <laughs> did want to take the risk there. Why were you taking so long? Oops. Double check here. Boop de loop and pull. And your root is looking cool. I haven't really, I mean, I've seen a Sparky, but <laughs> I've seen too much action with it. Not that I really want to get much uh, action with a Sparky. <laughs> Pause. All right, so now I pretty much just have to cover around here. Do this room and double check. It's still hiding material because as long as we got a closable cupboard, we're fine. The way into the engine room, we got this room. A little hallway to it. I'm gonna close that off just for safety. Let's get opening. The opening to your paragraph. Cool. <gasps> Views for the engine room. Sometimes of course I call those crazy fuse rooms otherwise. Actually, no, not so much in this room, this run. Because there's been death since that weird situation of all that. Yeah. Oh, I'm just hearing, like, the steam room running right there. It's like, I realized it for a moment. Uh, it's kind of weird, because you can kind of hear dudes jumping through the uh, cargo hold. Trying to zero in on me, I bet. Alright, with that, that gets deck zero done because there's nothing I really want to get otherwise so I'm just going to write it as done. Here's what I'm going to do if I can do it well enough. We're going to make a nice little right turn into the engine room after I throw this maybe just make a little noise over there. All right I'm trying to get too close to anything so get too close. Yeah 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 
it wasn't a pump here, but yeah, previous run where I found the pump and it was a weird spot. Hello, what monster is it? Yes. <laughs> That's your answer. But yeah, the way I'm doing it is one of every monster plus a random. So there's two of something and the two of something it is for this particular run is two fiends. So five monsters total. Sparky in the mix. All right. Ooh, another <laughs> fuse for good measure. And by the way, welcome back to the stream. I've seen you around in a previous monster stream. Not that I do them too often, but I recognize the name. All right, I'm trying to keep track of what rooms we got going on too. Don't don't. It's probably coming from that part. So six and four. So let me do the flume and flume. So it'll be three and five in a certain order as we go below me. Maybe nobody's above me though. <laughs> Anybody around there? We got closed doors. Closed door policy. And I'm glad. And I'm glad I grabbed the extra smack pack. Alright. For now, here I'm going to start by calling to deck three because it's going to be one of those lower rooms. Get their aggro set a little bit. Hunter has probably spawned, just without me hearing it. Now I'm going to call them over to deck two so they can break into junction two where the steam room is. Stomps. I hope this is going to be too problematic. I just try to get out of here. Hopefully not run into anything along the way. It's almost like Steam wasn't even running. As in, the game. I mean, the achievement plays into the joke. Steam stopped responding or something like that. Okay. Let's drop a little glowy there. Yeah. Gonna pop into this way. Get out of your lines of sight. Oh yeah, got all this crap. Probably just drop them off the side. Come back for everything. Anything in there? Got the keys too. Yeah. Ooh, I don't trust that man. Huh, well, that's safe. Try the triggering. But it's gonna be somewhere. Uh didn't aggro to me, but here. Okay, deck seven. Tape at door to raft deck. Just so I know where I dropped it. Alright, I'm gonna drop a lot of stuff off at the uh, helicopter. I think for now, though, just gonna do that. We like fun time flashlights. This is a fun little ritualistic thing. Probably should have uh, made noise with a radio or camera up there, but, uh, just gonna pick that up. There's nothing else I've left on here, is there? Nah. Only sacrifice the compass to get everything else moving. Nobody around here. Might as well put gas in a place right here. Gas up the jet, even though that's a helicopter and this isn't really part that's being gassed up anyway. Ooh, very much a sneeze gonna happen soon. Unless I keep talking about it and it doesn't happen. So who knows? Alright. Drop a light of there in case I wanna make a mogus with fire and gas. Fire and blood. Line it up in case I wanna do some glitchy do. With which to make my mogus. Hello. Must have been at the other, the other steam, like behind me, instead of in a dangerous chase. I thought I saw fiend. Wasn't really a problem. Shoulder scratch. All right. Didn't know. Let's do this. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! No no! What? Okay. 
I have no idea what happened there, but if things were going as I was oh knowing about, I would have been a dead individual. An hour and ten minutes into the stream, I probably would have been the end of the stream too. But no, it keeps going. So I toss the radio into there. So maybe that brute should be aggroed to it and break it in. And whatever that is happening with the hunter. Hope it's not like in a weird state of flux. I mean, it would probably despawn and be respawnable anyway. And now we dash. Try to go back to the engine land. Engine room. What is it called a room if there's multiple interior rooms within it? And we got a sparky there. It seems kind of stuck. <laughs> You're stuck, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Try not to aggro him, though. Let him go that way. I'm just gonna squeeze right past you. Sure you don't mind. Hello. Gonna squeeze past you though. Ooh, get out of here. What? Come on, I was out of the range. Gotta make the run, go to run, run, run. Risk it. Oh, break the aggro. What the? Okay. That was kind of strategic though, because I was kind of breaking line of sight. Come on. I'm holding right click so hard right now, but I don't wanna actually press it. Alright, ooh. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get down here to lower decks. I know, right click is just in my fingers right now. Uh, that's always such a weird thing when you bloop the door. And it hasn't been broken. Nothing's broken. It's not seeing three down here. Man, I just wanted to let go of right click. It's so bad. Well, we got a walkie talkie here. Man, quit clicking the dang right click, man. Alright. Let's relax for a moment and open all these drawers. Check for items. <laughs> it's pretty much just the reskinning of the other time. I don't know. It's a little bit different. Not fully the same. I mean, there's nothing necessarily there, but it could be there. Pretty similar to the usual Junction 3, but this just happens to be number 3 right here. I can mark it as such. So likewise, the five is one next above me. But who knows how much longer this run's gonna last. Alright. Aggro you to number five. Alright. Give it a moment. And call you to number two. Do de de do do de de. Alright. Brute or Sparky should be going for the room there. Any moment. Or maybe not. Just gonna briefly refresh the aggro. Go to number two again. Whoosh. I was thinking it was like right outside the room. I mean, I can kind of peer from here. Sit right here on the edge of this pier and drink water. Not salt water, though. Oh, you can't swallow it. This is seawater. Alright, huh. I'm gonna do a little bloopy thing again. No, not getting bloopies. Whether in the Zelda randomizer or the actual enemy creature, so to speak. In Breath of the Wild. Man. Garlic biscuits are causing a little bit of a... Not quite heartburn, just a little bit of hiccuping. I don't even know if they broke into the room properly yet. I mean, I haven't heard a clump of loudness. The fiend's around here. How about... Call you number five. Rearrange the aggro a little bit. No, I'm gonna do this. Just for safety. Mainly from the fiend, but who knows if a... Brute or Sparky, or even the Hunter, that's <laughs> gonna break it down. Oh, yeah, they broke it, okay. Let's come up to number one, especially because they're aggroed here now. It's fine if they break number two, we got plenty of numbers to work with. Decent flexibility. And if I really want to call them down here, I can just call them the number three. Whew. All right, go call.
call number four. Maybe even six as well. Watch him very carefully until the fiend Dora goes away. Hi. The fiend named Dora. Don't open my room. Keep going very quickly. Do, do, D, D, number one. A couple of rings to number six to splooch up the aggro a little bit. All right. And he's still around. I mean, yeah, it's the whole double fiend situation. Yeah. Not liking all the stimp stamping. And. Man, are the phones even really being effective right now? Alright, let's give this a try. Ooh, he's around. Good thing he didn't see me. Let's call number four. Maybe breaking one was kind of breaking them all. Kind of flushing their aggro away. Yeah, flushing. Oh, they broke it. Not let them be aggro to me, though. Alright. Uh huh. Ring number two. And ring number three. Now, are we good enough to get out of here? I hope so. That little layer of protection is in play. Even still a double-edged sword. Like monsters could very well catch up to me while I'm running, but I don't have to worry about the steam. I know what I'm gonna do. Hasta la vista. <laughs> That's what. Right, let me make sure I'm fully good. Yeah. And now, let's go up a level. And check these weird little spots. I don't have to worry about steam. Unless we're talking about the actual program now. Fiend's not actually here. Oh. 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 I didn't know there was an extra room. But I guess it's good to know now. Oh, please don't tell me you're around there. Okay. Uh. Weird little way we're handling some stuff now. Okay. Just gotta make sure there's no actual rooms. Cool. Nothing there. Make sure he's not looping around the corner. Uh oh. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get spotted. Not that I wouldn't be able to handle it. What, you think I can't handle a measly brute? Alright, deck four. At least there isn't a straight pathway up. Now you check the pin a little bit. Alright, cool. Talking about straight stuff. <laughs> I like how it's shown on pause now that I've unpaused the game. Definitely gotta explore here a little bit better, but I wanna kinda get through the mess hall. Among other things. Don't have to worry about here right now. But the mess hall, actually, are we even good with the mess hall? And we got the keys here. I could just stock up on cups a little bit. Nothing else. Oh yeah, the radio. Somebody stole my car radio and now I just cry. Alright, clear all that away. Yum. Alright, uh, I want to be careful though. I'm going to carefully drop the flashlight down there. The keys along with it. Hopefully they don't phase into nothingness, you know. No tape. It's right here. There's a room. They steer. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. My man on the stair. Gotta do that little joke every time, if it even can be a joke. Just like a half rhyme. It's a fun thing to quote, though. I think a fiend might be getting close. Alright, have fun with it. There we go. My tape's secured. Secured the bag. Raft deck mini. Tape. So if I just 
use it right over there. Okay. I could have a little bit of fun with this. No, come here. Alright, I'm just gonna check this way out. I don't trust there be a not being a hunter on that side. Hug down. And now we get our flashlight and keys right here. Oh, <laughs> good thing. I had a little place marker. Everybody's getting aggroed over there. Hardy, hardy, hardy. Should probably get away before anything were to see me from here, though. Didn't do a fun time flashlight here. So allow me to do a fun time flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can get the uh, helicopter moving if I wanted to. But not yet. I haven't even seen an egg timer yet. It's probably on deck six, I bet. Rhyming. With good timing. Let me check this. Yeah, I still need a battery for the sub. Make a little noise here. Hmm. Might work out for me. I'm gonna take the long way through deck zero and I don't have to worry about steam all the way through. So I can definitely create some distance. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna make him take the long way through this area though. Could be bad for me. But, if I want another fun time flashlight, I could go that way. Just because I have the fumes for it. Or was there a fuse spool room? No, not spool, but pump. That's the word I keep trying to do. Yum. Yum. Yeah, there was this other power locked room, or was it just a simple room to enter? A simple room to enter. Kind of combining stuff with previous runs, even if they haven't lasted too long. So yeah, huh? we're absolutely covered on deck zero. Head to toe at that. Alright. Now that I'm back here, I can inch back through the engine room. The engine room. Obviously not from here. Yeah, I think there's at least another flashlight I could do fun time with. I don't know why I'm calling it like that. That's how it be. Hunter? I just like how that sticks there. Maybe just some leftover goop, you know? There's that spot. It's like a dud hiding spot. But hey, if they break it down, it'll work for me. Hey, there's a flashlight. Yeah, it's because I had it marked. There. I can clear that away, but I'll keep that line available. Drop a line. That's pretty compl convoluted and complicated run we got going on a little bit. We're just finding more radios and all that. Not necessarily batteries or anything. I'm sure a lot of stuff will come to light in Discovery, as in Deck 6. That's pretty much the only place I really need to get covered. I mean, yeah, a little bit more here in the engine room. So, low area done. Ooh, this could be bad. Here. I'm going to do a little trolling, as they say. So that room's been broken. So I'm kinda... Yeah, because I can't call him the number two, I can just call him the number three. Uh, wah, wah. Whoop, whoop. Weep, weep. There we go. As long as nobody's immediately above me, for one. Uh oh I'm right-clicking again. Let me just break that. Uh oh Well. Yeah, let me just call you out to number three again. In fact, maybe even number five. Just get you a level lower. Work on your aggro a little bit. Don't enter my room. Okay. Now we wait a moment. And then number three. Do, do, de, de. Make sure the hunter's not immediately by me. I was thinking it could have popped out of right there, but... I didn't see much visual about that. I got a visual on the hunter. Haven't even been in this room really. Not that there oh well, a fuse, not that I need it. A glow stick, not that I need it either. And of course this room's been broken. Is there 
loves me. Above me, that loves me. The fiend must be around there. So I will get out of here. It's time to skedaddle. <laughs> it's not like immediately here, so. Let's we'll get out. Get out. Skedaddle. Have some fun. I didn't really get the near side finished, so. Allow me, boys. Double check here. Oh, yeah, here's the room where the spool was. How about I toss that out? Maybe even make a little room there. Just to make some noise about it. Or whatever. So we got the spool gone and done there. Just gonna drop you off. Hello? Bye! What did I run right into it? Maybe I need to end the stream all of a sudden. Oh, I thought it was like seeing me from the other side or something. That's embarrassing. Had a good run going on. Who knows where the heck the battery could have been. Very likely that to say it's because where else really. I mean, yeah, there's a whole mini side that I didn't really touch at all. Aside from tossing the tape to the mini rough deck. But I guess not in this particular run. Will we explore too much? All right, almost an hour and a half. Pretty good. Don't really need to stick around and do much more. But hey, this is a fun little stream to try to get back into the swing of things. Could very well be the next stream with Fiber. I don't know. I mean, we haven't really even gotten a call, and who knows when the home installation would be scheduled for. It could be like mid May. <sighs> so who knows? It could very well be a few more streams on this darn DSL. At least it's decent enough for streaming with four and a half upload speed, but. <laughs> We're gonna go 200 fold faster, gigabit download and upload. Count down the days, even though not really, because I don't know how many days are left. Just waiting with <laughs> bated breath for it, you know. Okay, <laughs> enough talking. That's kind of my thing. I just talk around at the end of the stream. Watch on high speed, even though you're at the end of the stream anyway. Just try to remember, save some time in your life and all that. Thank you for watching the stream. There will be more. I mean, the next big game I kind of want to do a run-through of is Psychonauts, but it could very well be something crazy like Mario Odyssey once we get fiber. I don't know. It's whatever I dang feel like, you know? Thank you for watching the stream. Until the next one, do not toast yourself, and remember to stay great with your aura like a Lucario. Or Rio. Lou. I don't know why I got throaty about that. Some may call me the throat goat. <laughs>